In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some song starters on Syntact. My idea behind this, if you've got a Syntact and you want to start making some tracks and some songs, I'm going to make some, probably about five in the series. I've already created two. The first one's a time challenge and it's 59 seconds long. So uh, just to get you started. But after that, I'm going to show you how to start making tracks in Syntact the easy way. Well, let's get on with it. This is track starter number two. Uh, I'm going to show you how to start a track in uh, Syntax, just give you some ideas. I'm going to do a series on this. Um, the funny thing about me showing you this one here is I forget to press play, but I eventually get there in the end. But I just want to show you how easy it is to create a, a track in Syntax, give you some ideas, add a drum. Uh, the video is probably about five minutes. Um, it does go on for about six, but it's only just to add some more uh, details to it. So, right, so first of all, in straight to track number five. Track number five is a bass. But what I do is I change this to SY Toy and then we build it from there. So it's quite a different approach. It's quite a radical approach, I suppose, in some respects. So you've got track number five going away. Make it 16 tricks long by going into um, Trig and then change this to SY Toy. That sounds nothing like a dance track, but it will do in a minute. Let's go into, I think it's actually um, Brightness here. Let's go into Brightness. And then we're going to play about with the brightness settings in the um, LFO. Still sounds like a track, but I promise you it will sound like a track, and you'd love to develop this. Change the mode to one. Let's go for exponential, which is probably my usual one because that drops the sound. Change the speed. And we've got almost like a humming sound here, but that will soon change, I'm going to show you. So I've added a few more trigs in there, and the trick here is to start to drop the actual key, add some uh, delay and reverb in, and how different does that sound? That is literally a start of a track or a build up to a track. So that's come from SY Toy, so that's a very very simple idea, we're going to put some drums on there now, so you've got a nice little beat going there, but you can change it as much as you want, change it in the tune, you can change it in trig. So you've got another variation of that sound now. If you drop, drop a drum on there, that is a start of a fierce track. Yeah, drop, the, drop it down. I think we're going to about D2. About, um, D Especially if you're doing hard techno or industrial dance, you want to be the lower bass end. Maybe not too low, but you know, you want to be the lower bass end. So this is just a great way to start. I'm going to add some more elements to it in a minute. So D2 I've gone for. It's almost like a drum. Right, let's throw a, a drum on there. So you've now got something with some motion, some beat, uh, and you're ready to just to develop that sound. And that's what I call a, a track starter. So here we go, let's add some more reverb. Although you can't really notice it, add some more reverb, some uh, shell for reverb, and just start to make the track your own, because this is just an idea for you to start doing something in, in syntax. So what should we do next? Let's just decide. We'll, we'll play about with the reverb a bit more as well, I think. And you can hear it now a bit more. Now the SY Toy um, machine is quite interesting because it tends to generate a lot of high sounds. So a bit of boost on there. Start to play with the form. This is where you can develop the track to make it your own. It's not as if you've copied somebody's. This is what you've done. Now I've just chucked a little clap on there just to give it more emotion and then what I do is I'll rip the, the clap apart effectively make it my own sound so it's another good tip here if you're going to use the sound there rip it apart make it your own so you now I've got even more development I say it's more of a hard development track so you've got in less than three or four minutes you've got what I call the track start well uh, the video will play uh, for another two or three minutes where I just add more ideas and take more ideas away uh, please subscribe for more videos and I just hope you enjoy.